Hey all and welcome back to Death Trust to play MechWarrior 5 Mercenary Solaris Showdown. Let's get going. So, pretty good luck in the in the last one. Should we now our Mauler? He's being refit. 48 days though, so it's gonna be a bit um at the stalker at nine days. I really do want to take the loader king out here on something, but so far everything's been you know hundred tons bring one mech kind of stuff. Uh it, we uh, we had a good time with uh oh I think I can upgrade hang on had a good good time with Kaiju and the and the double the quad X's oh yeah I didn't want to put you in the arms uh, and you guys are definitely a downgrade okay I uh, remember that now it's pretty much all we can do here I've, I've gone and picked their equipment sold a few things um, not much just a little bit. Uh, and looked at the couple of things that I might want to grab. Uh, I think I'm okay. Uh, so we were 4.3, we're 5.6, so sold about a million's worth, million sea bills worth of stuff. You know, victory would be an okay get. I don't really want to reach for it. Uh, the scent would, would be great if I knew what were coming up. I really like the Centurion. It's kind of a good all-arounder. Um... The other thing I looked, I've got AMSs because I bought them, you know, the first or second episode. Uh, I don't have anybody who can use an AMS yet, so hopefully that will uh, come up. And at this point, I think... Yeah, let the games begin. I'll read the first bit here and then we'll, we'll pause and continue the rest. My probe into the un underbelly of Solaris City has been riddled with difficulty. The shadows harbor unforeseen dangers at every turn. Mafia and Yakuza agents lurk everywhere. The last thing we need is one of these groups catching wind of your presence and becoming involved. Thankfully, I've built a career on dodging trouble and keeping things under control. No small feat in this cesspool. If I fail, the party that hired me to help foil this plot will ensure my days are numbered. That level of heat will be too much, even for me. So, for both our sakes, maintain your reputation. I'm gonna take out the shield, shoot the council. <laughs> Fancy Solaris hangs nearby, yeah, sure. Okay. Sponsor network versus the independents who don't like us much. Small in the forest, okay. Team free for all. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'll take cash again. We've been we've been had pretty good success with this. Uh and we've also been sort of given mechs along the way. Yeah, let's uh let's you know we'll it's a team free for all, so let's take one more. Four hundred tons, okay, so we're gonna get the big boys in here too. Off the board with you. Um We'll take take Berman, Selway, and Stowe. All right. So what we're we gonna pilot? Let's get up here into the assault. We've got enough. I could take it. It's really given. <laughs> I kind of want to. I'm not a big assault guy, but it's a team free for all, so maybe running around and uh, punching things is the way to go. Alright, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to put you in the Atlas because uh, I think it's the best odds of survival. Okay, let me gonna double check weapons groups to make sure everybody stays back. Uh, also, uh, oops. Also read in the comments if you uh, don't give them this, they will try and stay here. Trouble is, if you don't give them this, they then they never punch. Um, but let's give it a go and see how things behave. All right, so we want the twenty and the five and the rifle. I think. Let's check our range. Yeah. 
just, and then mediums, okay? All right, you're already set up. Then shoot the 20s when you have to. And then, okay, so yeah, we want to swap these guys around. Uh, what's our range here is 600, so we're going to say you, then you. And then I think... We'll, we'll say chain fire anyway, but I'm pretty sure the AI just goes straight down the list. It doesn't fire in an alpha, but... We could do that. That's what we were... That's the current setup. That'll be fine. And uh, finally for me... Oh, I can't... Uh, I don't have a button 5, so that's not going to work. Okay, let's put you on 4. I'm going to move you guys. I'll put the SRMs on 3. I think that's fine. And then Assault is going to be on the 4. I think that'll work. Yeah. Some solid, mediums, SRMs. Yeah, so range going down and then, then swing the sword. We're going to try and use the supercharger to get in there, hit people with the sword, you know, hit them with a barrage and then get out and we'll pepper people as we come in. That's kind of the plan. 390 out of 400, let's go. And again, it keeps bringing us back here. I wonder if that's on purpose now. Every time I've gone back to the barracks, it, it resets the negotiation points. Don't know. Tournament's about to get underway, Commander. It's imperative you make it to the final match. The Inglorious Outcast Assassin is set to appear during the finale when the Solaris Council is seated in their viewing box and the protective ballistic glass has been compromised. I've gotten word the agents working for the outcasts are attempting to sabotage the glass as we speak. We know why you're here, Mason. Now, or you'll end up on the wrong end of a violent blood match. That's an offer you should refuse. I know it'll be tough, but do you think you can make it without me, Mason? Yeah, I, uh, I think I got it. Uh, here we go. Another tournament is in the Steiner Stadium ringing in the new year. The opening match of the Fedcom Unification Tournament. This tournament right. is brought to you by... The, all the corrupt match fixers of the great houses that have infected Solaris. Ah, I missed him. Kept secret. Genius Terry here is insulting the sanctity of the games. And the great houses. And me. And his delivery is so bland. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't matter. It's all predetermined anyway. Okay, let's stay around the corners here. No, no, no. Hang on. Right here. here oh no stuck damn oh I can't get through okay oh arm is rough okay Stay out of here. Okay, so yeah, free for all with melee is a little bit rough. That's all right. And the teams are dropping like flies. 
Looks like this newbie, Jake Mason, has a spark. Oh, I lost my... Damn. Lost my, uh, lost my gun. Alright. Yep. I know. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, they are. All right. Why? There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're going to have to move a bit. Why is my... There we go. Yeah, everybody else in great shape. Okay. Oof, lots of mayhem there. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought we might have more to do there. I'm like, well, we're going to have to put an AI in the, in the Highlander. And <laughs> okay. At least they called it specifically this time. I've seen lots of people on the forums note that the AI really does have it out for you even when they don't explicitly call that out. Alright, that was a bit of a quick lens. Probably gonna run one more mission, huh? Nine picks, nothing I want there. Don't want the ER, I would love a large. Oh, alright, well I gotta have you. Because we gotta put that back on the Highlander. I don't have to, but would like to. Um, we lost our LBX. That hurts. We have five picks. We'll take a good peep for five. But, you know, some of that is me drawing aggro. Okay. So we lost medium lasers. I guess we got hit here in the torso. Maybe it's just damaged. We'll, we'll give it a look here in a sec. Everybody else is in great shape. Hey, we got a frack. All right. Incredible work making it to the final stage of the tournament, Commander. I'm gifting you a final reward bonus before the final match kicks off. I hope you. I hope this sees you through to the end and helps you stop this assassination attempt in its tracks. Lots of finals there. Right, what do we got? VE1. It's a rapid fire. Ooh, that's a shooty boy. I like that one. Okay. Let's, uh... What do I have in inventory? So nothing better there. And nothing better there either. Okay, but let's uh, even put the ammo in the feet. Nice doubles. So I'm going to drop a ton here and do that. Two days, that's fine. Um, yeah, he got just smashed. Okay. Huh, okay. Looks like we're going to jump right in. Can I...
eight days. I guess we're going to have to go with the B team here. The Mauler's not going to be ready to go. The Stalker's not going to be ready to go. We're going to take the smaller boys out. Um, in which case, probably want you to be refunded. So we can take the Orion, the T-Bolt, the Loader King, probably the Rifleman instead of the T-Bolt, and the Fract. Okay, we'll be a little shy there. Standing work, Commander. Your performance inside Steiner Stadium is creating quite the stir, solidifying your name here on Solaris. If you get the job done, you might want to consider a career on the arena circuit. You can make a killing. But first things first. Yep, outcasts that are going to sabotage protected ballistic glass, get the council, stay in the fight, be ready, hold your ground. And I think, I think, I think, we're going to take you. Hello there, mech fans. Duncan Fisher here, filling in for Terry Z due to a sudden case of uh, death. It could have been poison or natural causes. And I'm sure no one will look into it in the spirit of self-preservation. It's all come down to this, Mason. My info has the Inglorious Outcast about to compromise the Ballistic Glass shielding the crowd and the Solaris Council. Outlast the other teams and make it to the finale. They'll unleash their heavy hitter once they know they can take a clean shot. <laughs> no pressure, huh? You should have backed out where you had the chance, Mason. Instead, you'll be broken like so many of us. I'll fight until the wheels come off. They've hit play and are going at it. Why are we here? Well, so if you get in here and you do too much damage too fast. Direct hit. One of their weapons has been neutralized. A strategic attack that could have a serious impact on the outcome of this match. Everybody turns on you just immediately. Ask me how I found that out. Running in with uh, Punchback. running in there with uh, you know, PBC axes. <laughs> All right, so uh, the other thing we need desperately is to be in as great shape as possible for what's to come. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything about that, but there is some discussion on the forums as to whether something that happens is a bug or if it's intentional. Uh, right now we don't know, so, you know, you, you play it as it lies, right? Alright, come up the hill, please. to stay in the best shape we can be in. No ifs, hands, or buts. No, no choice. Loader King. Hey there, buddy. Let's hope in. Ah, uh, you overheated. That's rough. 
Right, we're okay. Oh, hi, buddy. You really want to do this, huh? Alright. Well, you can run away from me. <laughs> Pretty happy with that, not gonna lie. Okay, so there's only a few left. Two more. Heavy impact. Oh, their weapon systems are hurting. They really need to dig deep to find a way to win this match. Your right leg is fine. That is that boy right there. That hurts. There we go. All right. So you're interested in me. That's okay. Let's come around the other side. There you go. You guys eat each other up. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Very good. <clears throat> so here's what I want. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to make a beeline for the ramp. I know there's a opponent on it. There's multiple opponents on it. All right, that's fine. Should have taken a swing at you. We'll take a swing at you. And whiffed. That hurts. Alright. So the other thing I've noticed is it, they don't use the ramps much. It is kind of cool to, to see all the mayhem, but uh, I would really like to be down there scrapping. If he's not able to adjust, this match could be over in a real hurry. So also some things I've noticed. The, the, sometimes they'll get stuck right here, and uh, the awesome tends to work that bit of the ramp, I think because there's so much going on he can't come down into the arena, uh, and there's always a scrap right there. Potential game changer here, folks. Their offensive arsenal just suffered a significant setback. They could be in serious trouble here. All right, so now I've done a bunch of damage, and look at that from across the board. So look at that. I shot one guy that they were shooting at. Now they're super interested in me. Even though there's all this ruckus going on. So yeah, we just kind of kind of sit it out. It's... What I'm, ha what I'm wondering about is, uh, in the patch, if there will be a fix for this. 
we'll see. We'll talk about it here in a minute. Yeah, I got him. Alright, so we're halfway through. Let's move up a little bit and see what's going on over here. Okay, so that's the usual. Oh, great, the Marauder 2 is almost out of here. You're almost out of here. Oh. You're in good shape, though. So we should put some on you. You can come up the ramp, buddy. I don't think you will, but you can. Sure. Hey, maybe. Alright, look at you. I've lost where I am. Torso's rough. That's uh, that's gonna suck. Okay. Okay. So one more. Who's left? It means most of the, the guys over here. Okay. How do you stand down from a tournament? Dude, 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 like have you never seen how these things go? Let's see what we get. Okay. That is okay. So we're going to stay in here for just a sec. Those. So what what you'll notice here is everybody goes after the annihilator, which you know, as they should, uh, but but they will all focus the annihilator down. We'll get out here in just a sec. In. You're in good shape, buddy. That's uh, well, let's help with that. All right, so they're gonna be coming after the Grand Dragon here in a minute. Have no idea what those were. Maybe that's missiles when they uh, they blow up as the damage falls off. Crab, he's in good shape. Chew a little soft. Just lob it out there. Hope for the best. Target, crab. Target acquired. 
<laughs> Those things are crazy. I love them. Oh, he juked me. Target acquired. I can't get him. There we go, a little bit. That's the first time I've seen the the battle range all the way over to there. It tends to cluster right there. One more on the board. Let's let's go up here and and sometimes for those of y'all watching, the Treb gets over here and he just stays there. So you get through all the way to the end and there's a completely blue trebuchet. Just waiting for you. You know, and normally you're like, eh, it's a trebuchet. We'll, we'll talk about why it's it's a pain here in just a moment. And he is in great shape. You guys should be shooting him a lot. Back up the hill here. I feel like I'm playing Mech Warrior Online. Yeah, the Treb's a little beat up. There's the dragon again. Let's get in on him, I guess. There we go. Now we've got a treb left over here somewhere. There he is. Oh, there's two more. Okay. Maybe they're shooting at each other. Well, he looked more damaged than he was. Okay. Let's slide in here and see what's what. Alright, one more. I don't know who that is. So something that happens every now and then we'll go check on it. <laughs> I've played this a bunch. Uh, and I I get all the way through and in the, just in the end. Like I'm going to have to stop playing for a bit and take a moment to myself. I'm kind of frustrated. And the thing is, I've watched a couple of folks get through this one, but their setups are completely different than mine. And suited to uh, suited to the battle that's to come. Right. My loadouts are not. That's okay. Right. But I hate to get gated like that. So sometimes somebody will get stuck right here. But that is not this one. Treb is the only one that normally gets stuck over on the other side. We'll uh, we'll keep walking through. This mount is presented by Solaris Mall, and the tourist trap filled with impulse buys and dopamine hits. 
If you're looking to empty your pockets with unnecessary purchases, the Solaris Mall is the place for you. And they're a proud sponsor of this match. <laughs> All right. Where are you, buddy? Need a little more sensor range. Maybe we gotta go up high, not uh Okay, we can go look. The magnificent moment of the match is presented by Zeusberger. Pick up a harpy meal today. Guaranteed to come with a toy, or a massacre might ensue. Yeah. So what happens? Hang on, what am I doing here? Let's talk about. My best. <laughs> let's talk about what's gonna happen here. So first things first. Let's get turned in. Yeah. Keep an eye on my paper doll. Yeah, he didn't, uh, he didn't fix. He didn't, uh, he didn't update. So, what we're gonna do here... actually get him. Come on, come on. Nice. Alright, so. What turned the tide there? SRMs. So let's get on through here. 12 picks. It's a really good 20. Rapid fire. Wonder if I'm going to take it though. Let's keep looking. the binary laser. Let's just slide on through. So really the only only change. I say only change. That's the only mech I have that has SRMs on it. I've tried that particular battle with the Atlas D <clears throat> uh, with the crab with all the PPC X's and it just even for the amount of damage they put out, the shooting the SRMs 
up close out damaged his AC-20 and I think he had a little lesser impact too nothing else was even close it just got wrecked uh, one time I think I had a headshot which you know it's, it happens um, what are we going to take? we're going to take you that's a good one so we'll actually use it and then we got three picks that's really good for just straight up cash I'd like to have you um, we'll take you and one more pick. I uh, will take a good four stream. Sure, that'll work. All right, we, and we lost our LBX, so as luck would have it, here we go. Impressive work, Commander. You not only stymied the outcast assassin, preventing a catastrophic event on Solaris, but also helped fill the void left by the departed commentator. Yeah, happy to help. In a business teeming with deceit and posturing, your actions spoke loudest. Your name and reputation have earned considerable weight, a testament to your exceptional performance. Solaris offers a lucrative arena for your skills. Should you decide to venture beyond and ply your trade across the inner sphere, rest assured you'll top the list of my recommendations. However, discretion is a valuable currency in our line of work. Let's keep this job and the details under wraps. I'm still investigating how the outcasts got wind of your tournament entry. Staying vigilant is key to survival in this business, after all. Best of luck, Commander. May Solaris bring you both good fortune and challenges in equal measure. Million sea bills, 10 rep, and a 95-ton Corsair. Interesting. Hello. Hello, folks. Duncan Visor here, your new and improved Solaris commentator. Shout out to Commander Mason, the tournament champion and saver of my bacon. Thanks to him, my voice echoes across Solaris into your living rooms. <laughs> You're welcome. Remember, if you follow your dreams, fail upwards. Don't die in the process. Benefit from being a beloved character. Wait for the right people to kick the bucket. Anything is possible. Stay tuned. <laughs> and I'll see you in the arena. That's awesome. <clears throat> okay, so we've just got contracts. Let's check out here. There we go. Stay okay. Tuned, Mac fans, and I'll see you in the arena. Let's see. But you should jump into the arenas and let me call your matches. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So we'll. I guess we'll claim this now. Living the dream. Uh, oh, I think it's because we've got lots of sea bills. Um, let's collect some job rewards. Let's check our other transmissions. So these are all the sort of the regular stuff. Look at you. Okay. Interesting. And we've now been released. Feels a little short. I have to go back and look at my... Uh... Yeah, because arena contracts are here. Hmm. I hope that's not it. I was really just kind of getting into it. Okay. Yeah, it does appear so I'm 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 looking this up on Sarna. That looks like that's it. Oh man. I was uh
Okay, so I guess we're gonna now. We've been released. I think I want to stay vanilla for a bit, and I'm gonna work on this fame system a bit and see what's uh, see what's what with that before we before we come back to Yaml. Yeah, that feels like the way to go. Let's 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 try it out. Without turning anything in, you know, without turning in on all the details, what's it? What's it look like if we just do vanilla? How does how does fame work in this? These are all difficulty twenties, tenors on the hundreds. Okay, you know that'll give us a chance to run with a few more of our weapons in vanilla and see what's what. Now you know what we need to do here. So we'll say it feels a little bit short for uh, a DLC. I know they've added a lot of content um, in uh, non-story, I suppose. Um, how's my molar look now? Oh yeah, it's terrible. Love it. So yeah, six missions feels a little bit light. Um, We'll see how all of the arena stuff plays out. Maybe the six missions plus the new arena is, is worth it. Yeah. Um, it's like, eh, I, get it. I can't really give any final thoughts. Maybe final thoughts for the story stuff. It's too short. Um, it, it, that said, the tone was a little more lighthearted compared to the other ones and and that was a nice change from the the previous five i know you know it's uh it, if everything were like that it, the entire series it just wouldn't have any weight wouldn't have any gravitas but occasionally right yeah you, you know even even in a universe just stuffed with conflict there's gonna be some duncan fisher goofballs out there and it, that's new, or that blips. I think it was nice to kind of lean into that. Plus, it's a great throwback to, um, I think Duncan Fisher was in Mech Warrior 2. I don't know, I'd have to actually go look that up. Um, I don't remember the, don't remember the um, series he was in, but I even, even I know the name, and I'm super, super uh, on... Uh, on the lore of uh, MechWarrior Battletech. Um, I played the tabletop as a as a, a young man, pre-dad, and uh, you know, and then went away from it for a long time and have you know come back to it. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> I may have to cut this up a little bit. I'm I'm rambling because I'm I'm trying to capture thoughts just as they occur. Yeah, so the story is too short. And that said, I liked the tone, uh, the ex the voice acting I thought was really good. And, um, that lighthearted bit is a nice offset to the previous DLC. Um, it shouldn't all be that way, but this one, that bit was uh, that bit was really fun. I, I liked it a lot. Um, Now, you know, Duncan should have had some kind of reconciliation with Ava, right? Those, that that bit of story just went nowhere. Right? She hates him at the end. Eh, you know. Everybody likes a happy ending. Um, the new weapons are super cool, particularly the PPCX. That thing is awesome. I didn't really get to try the rapid-fire stuff so much. Um... But we will... Do I have anybody with a rapid fire? I do, but we haven't taken it out yet. So when we get to some of the smaller arenas, right, we'll take the Loader King. Uh, you know, in hindsight, I probably could have just sold the Enforcer straight off. So new weapons are cool. We haven't... 
excuse me. We haven't seen many of the variants for stuff yet, and we'll explore that as we go. So, don't know what to say there. But, you know, we'll we'll pick them up as we play a bit. There's a Lord of King and a Highlander. Like I said, I think I want initially to play a few of these just straight vanilla. And maybe we'll spend uh, a couple of weeks going through things in vanilla and then we'll we'll turn back to YAML and we'll we'll get all of this stuff with YAML enabled. From there we gotta figure out what we're gonna do once we're in YAML. Um a couple of things I do want to do though, I want to start at clan invasion, so we have clan tech right off the right off the bat. Um you know, and maybe we'll try some some challenges. It, one of the things I thought of was you know, can you solo? Right? Can you just do everything it, unless you have to bring more max? Can you do everything solo? It'd be interesting, might be super short, you know. My my play style tends to be run straight in there and and uh, <laughs> hit things with my head, uh, so it may not lend itself to that. Um, you know, maybe everything has to be fifty tons or more under. Uh, don't know. Just just coming up with some ideas for maybe what to do for uh, another game we'll play, even if it's a short one before we go back to sort of more traditional YAML. Um, we're, I guess we're marking time now for clans. Uh, I'm not going to stop playing MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. I like it a lot, quite obviously. Uh, they keep adding stuff to it. Uh, I hope a patch comes out for this one, presuming that the, the last repair bay is supposed to repair you. Uh, some of the pathing is a little bit rough. Right? We've had to go bug hunting to find max uh, they've clipped through a couple of walls in a way i haven't really noticed in the previous dlc so they were they were hustling on this one um not an excuse but uh, i think a bit of an explainer right there they're all moving to clans so a bit of a mixed bag i, I think if this were a little bit longer I would probably rate this one pretty highly, even compared to the other ones. Just because I liked the tone, it was it was sort of goofy fun. Um, I, I reserve the right to change my opinion here and move it up a bit in in the tier list after we've run a few more of the add-ons that have have uh, been introduced. We haven't really had a chance to try that out yet. We haven't really gotten through most of the weapons yet. We haven't seen all the variants yet, and there were quite a few. For right now, a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, still, I think, a buy, particularly if you like this universe, MechWarrior, uh, the Battletech universe. Yeah, still a buy, but I think I've, I would have said that about all the DLCs. They, they've all added something interesting. Um, having bought six DLCs at, what, 15 bucks a pop, that's uh, three, four AAA games, <laughs> counting the base. Um, I highly encourage you uh, to catch it on sale in the in, the, uh, in one of the Steam sales if you can, or uh, Epic when they're having a sale, whichever way you play. Yeah, I think uh, that's a bit of a rambling final thoughts. But I think that about captures my feel for it, which is a little bit all over the place right now. Okay, maybe that'll solidify as I play some more. So when we come back in the next one, we're going to stay vanilla for a bit, and we're going to try out these various uh, arena battles. Now, we may move around, right? We'll come here to New Hope, and there's arena battles here. You know, while we're doing it, let's let's bounce to here. Let's see what that hero is since we've got cash. Maybe we want it, maybe we don't. Oh, the hero commando. This is the Death Snow. Yeah, I really like this one. Uh, 
TDK. It runs, especially for Venal, it runs super fast. It's got a lot of punch. Doesn't have anything interesting that we can pull him for. Uh, but it's also 3 million Seabills. So I just, and also, I just kind of like the Commando platform. It's super cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. So I'll repair and refit here a bit offline. Oh yeah, it also comes with doubles. So if you get him early, that's a really good get. I forgot about that. I'll repair and refit everybody here offline. When we come back, we're probably going to come right on back to Solaris. I hope I didn't lose my... All of a sudden, there are no arena contracts. I mean, let's just do... Why are we... That's weird. Okay, so just queues them up anyway. Um, hey, Kaiju, you can't be repaired like that. I want to check something real quick, because... Gonna be salty if they're all gone. Man, I, that might move the uh, <laughs> that might move the bugs down way far. Oh, okay, there's they're different now. That's interesting. Okay, so they're gonna cycle. All right. Uh, you know what? I'll absolutely take that. If we got too far away, I mean, it's only two hops. Hmm. It did reset Solaris, it looks like. Man, look at that even scrolls now. Look at that. Okay. Huh. Okay, so it looks like there's some. there's still some stuff to see. We're going to explore it in the next one. I'm going to end the episode here. If you've got any tips or tricks for me, I'd love to hear them. And as always, thanks for watching.